Hello, this is a helpful, hopefully helpful, video about the extra problems to work on after you're done um, doing your little carousel. The first problem is about um, a hot air balloon rising in the straight up from a level field. Level field just means the ground is flat. Being tracked by a rangefinder, 50, Here's, I don't know what a rangefinder is, but it's on the ground. And the rangefinder is 500 feet from the liftoff point of the hot air balloon. At the moment, the rangefinder's elevation angle is pi fourths radians. Okay, here it says elevation angle. This is a really important part, and it might have been where you were getting stuff a little bit. Elevation angle. That means from the rangefinder, we're looking for the, the angle between the horizontal line of sight, which is the ground here, and the object itself. So that theta is there. Theta here is your elevation angle. So at the moment, the rangefinder's elevation angle is pi fourths. The angle is increasing because as the hot air balloon, I guess, goes up in the sky. We've got a larger angle at a rate of 0 0.14 radians per minute. We do know we are with respect to time since it's per minute at theta equals pi fourths. How fast is a balloon rising at that moment? So what we want to know is Y being our vertical distance, what is dy dt when theta equals pi fourths? Now you might be asking yourselves, what the heck? I only have one side length and I want another side. How am I supposed to find this other side? Well, think what kind of triangle do you have? Besides the Pythagorean theorem, which is not going to work here, what other tools do you have for triangles when you have a side, we have an angle, and we want another side? I'm hoping you thought of trig. And to confirm, we have the adjacent side and the opposite side. So that would be, drum roll, tangent. Tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, that 500 feet does not change. From there, we can implicitly differentiate. What's the derivative of tangent? Secant squared theta. But theta is changing when time is changing, so d theta dt is equal to 1 over 500. That's our constant multiple times what's the derivative of y, our vertical distance, that's changing with respect to time. We know what theta is from earlier, so go ahead and plunk that in here. We know what d theta is, plunk it in here, and we can continue solving for dy dt.